Hello and uh, welcome to this video about the Great Somerset Wildlife Camp. Now in this video we're not going to be talking about what it's all about. Um, hopefully you've already attended one of the seminars, maybe read the online material or watched the other video in this series that's kind of talked about the Great Somerset Wildlife Camp. Um, what, we, what we intend to do in this video is we're actually going to take you through the process of signing up on iNaturalist UK. This is the uh, platform that we're going to be hosting all of the kind of citizen science projects. So we just want to make sure that people understand how to, to go through that and actually find the project on iNaturalist. So to start with, we're just going to go through the sign-up process. This is fairly standard, um, very, very typical. I'm just going to chuck in some details here. Create a username. Create a password. Um, we've got some tick boxes here, so this one, yes, license my photo, sounds and observations, so scientists can use my data. That's recommended. I normally leave that tick to yes. Um, I also tick to consent that they're, they're going to store some personal information, and obviously you need to agree to their terms of service. I'm not going to go through reading that now. So we're going to create the account. Just waiting for it to load up the page. And here we are. So this is your, kind of your main web portal. Now the first thing we're going to look at is up top there's a small slightly yellowish bar that says would you prefer to view common names used in the United Kingdom. Um, we'd recommend saying yes to that. Uh, makes life a lot more easier with um, species names and things like that. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is go up to the community tab so you're signed in you've said yes to the uk dictionary the community tab here we've got a drop down under that we've got projects so we just want to click on projects and in the search bar all you need to do we won't even need to type the full thing we're just going to type great somerset click go and then the top hit when it does the search, Great Somerset Wildlife Camp. So we click on that. And we've got our first project there, the Frog and Tone Spawn Camp. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to join the Great Somerset Wildlife Camp. And then as projects get added, we'll be able to see that um, and we'll be a member of that community. And then your observations will be recorded by that project. Um, and then just a couple more things we go through. There's some rules for observation. And then trust this project with hidden coordinates. So what I try to recommend um, for the groups that are working on these in Somerset is we'll just say yes, because it helps with um, kind of more precise locations. It shouldn't really matter in this instance, but it's, it, it does help not only us, but also the Biological Record Centre that pull records for the national data sets. Um, and then, yes, I want to join. And again, we'll just wait for it to confirm. And that's it. You're now a member of the, the Great Somerset Wildlife Camp. And just to remember as well, as the projects get added, so if you're following the Great Somerset Wildlife Camp, as you see the projects getting added, if it's something that you want to get involved in, don't forget to uh, click on that specific project and then you can join that specific project as well. And again, same as before, I tend to trust it with the hidden coordinates and then, yes, I want to join.